Okay, this is a brief explanation of how to use a reverse thrust on the Cessna 208 Grand Caravan, and is this will also apply to any other turboprop airplanes you fly Microsoft Flight Simulator. So to start with, we're going to go look at our key mapping. Um, I did not. I don't have. I do not have a throttle quadrant with a detent on it. If you do have a throttle quadrant with a detent, you need to map the detent so that when you go past the detent, your, your throttle shifts from forward thrust to reverse thrust. Um, but if you don't have a throttle quadrant like that, you can still use reverse thrust, but you will need to map a key or a button. Uh, to enable the reverse thrust, and I'm, gonna, I'm about to show you how to do that right now. Um, just for your information, there is no default key or button mapped for, at least not on my CH yoke. And I looked in the keyboard layout, there's no default keyboard button for reverse thrust. So uh, let's go do this right now. So I'm gonna hit escape. And we're going to go to controls, and we're going to go, I'm going to select my flight yoke because I have a button that I was using for the parking brake on my flight yoke, but I'm going to redesignate that for reverse thrust. Now, how do I find reverse thrust? The easiest way is to come up here under filter and make sure that it says all and not assigned because you want it. To, to find you know any and everything you want you want all of the options for uh, key assignments displayed and then you come up to search and all you really need to do is type reverse because that's the only place now <clears throat> when you get to reverse thrust power under power management you'll see there's a reverse thrust for a propeller and there's a reverse thrust for throttle uh, don't use the propeller reverse thrust, you'll be wasting your time because these propellers don't go, you have to have a propeller that will go to a negative pitch and these propellers will not do that. So if you try to use reverse thrust with the propeller, your propeller will go to its maximum pitch and that won't do you any good. Uh, it won't go any, any, it won't go beyond that. So you want to use throttle. You want to go uh, use either a hold or toggle throttle reverse thrust. Um, I am using hold. What's the difference? Hold reverse thrust only applies as long as you're holding the button. Okay. So when I hold this button on my yoke, it activates reverse thrust. But as soon as I release the button, it stops the reverse thrust. If you were to use toggle, it'll you'll have to press the button once to toggle it on and once to toggle it off. I don't want to use that. I'm afraid if I hit that button by mistake in flight or, you know, whatever, I, I don't want to, I only want to hold throttle reverse thrust as long as I have that button depressed. You can do whatever you like, but that's the way I'm doing it. So I have this button on the top of my yoke and every time I push the button, it toggles reverse thrust. So that's how that works. Simple enough. Make sure you, uh, after you change that, verify it, you save it. Uh, well, I'll show you how to do that in case you don't remember. Um, um, let me unmap this for a second. So I'm going to clear the current input. All right, so there it is gone. So to, to, to map this input to my button, I'm going to click on the box for hold throttle reverse thrust. I'm going to come up here and click on start scanning. Now the computer's waiting for a button to be depressed or something that's going to activate that. So I'm holding the button down now. It's number 10 on my on my yoke. I've selected the input. I'm going to come down and I'm going to hit validate. And there it is. And to make sure it works, I'll push the button and you can see that it highlights it and we're ready. So now I'm going to Hit apply and save, make sure you save it, and then go back and resume. Now, 
that's the first requirement. The second requirement to use reverse thrust is you have to understand how this works. Like I said, if you have the throttle quadrant and you can map that, you're, you're pretty, pretty much home free. But if you're using a, a throttle quadrant like I have where you don't have a D10, um, what happens if the throttle, let's say the airplane just landed, my throttle's on zero. If I hit the reverse thrust button, guess what? Since my throttle's on zero, that nothing is going to happen. It's not going to slow my airplane down one bit. I have to, so the throttle, no matter where your throttle is, if you hit reverse thrust, see it will, if you look at my engine down there at the bottom, uh, down here where my, my throttle box is, my indicator, um, I have my emergency brakes on right now, so I'm going to run the throttle up. Let's say I landed with my throttle at 25%. Now I want reverse thrust, so I pull this button down. The engine is is going to have to go. You'll notice I'm getting some reverse now, but it takes a few seconds. If I let go of that button, it's going to go back to forward thrust. So the best thing, I'm assuming most of the time, you're going to land with your throttle off. Once you touch down, now you want to slow down, and, and the reverse thrust is not that strong on this airplane. It's a fairly heavy airplane. It's a lot heavier than a Skyhawk. It's a fairly large, you know. It's a good size airplane. It has a lot more mass than the smaller airplanes you might have been flying. So once you land, you need throttle. If your throttle's not at zero, take your throttle to zero, hit reverse thrust. I'm holding the button now. And now you can see when I apply throttle, you see that red band. I'm getting 35% reverse with my throttle all the way forward. Okay? All right, now we're going to demonstrate very quickly. I'm going to release my parking brake which is uh, control and number key delete and that releases the parking brake. I should be able to roll down the runway now so I'm going to pick up a little speed here. Get a little, get a little speed going on, not too much. Uh, let's get it up to like 40, 40 miles an hour. Okay, here we go, here we go. Now I'm going to zero the throttle, hit reverse thrust and go forward on my throttle now, and all the throttle I'm applying now is reverse thrust. Now, it is slowing the airplane down, but not very fast. You see that? So, uh, the reverse thrust, my brakes are probably doing a lot more to stop me, but the reverse thrust and the brakes together will sh shorten your... So now... Okay, I think my impression from what I've read is the reverse thrust on an airplane like the uh, the TBM 930 is much more effective than it is on this airplane, but there you have it. So uh, um, now I'm going to take off and come in for a landing and we'll uh, recommence our video just at that point for a demo. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to use reverse thrust. And here we go. Alright, so now I've got my throttle all the way back. Uh, you can land this airplane. Uh, I, I wouldn't go much below 80 knots, but you can land this airplane rather easily at 80 knots. i got to lose some altitude here. Okay. Uh, I'm coming in runway 23, and now I'm going to start coming around to make my approach. Uh, I should have one notch of flaps on. I'm, I'll probably use more than that by the time I get on the ground. Alright, so we're coming down nicely 500 feet. Like I said, the throttle's all the way back, and I'm still doing 105 knots. 
and uh, there's there's plenty of room here for. I'm looking at the runway lights that are showing me on right on the just on the right glide slope. I came out a little off runway center line here, so I'm going to straighten this up. So we're doing 88 knots now. I can come in a little slower, I'm a little high. See the lights? There we go, red over white, so we're good now. I'm not, I still haven't touched the throttle. I'm, I'm doing fine here. I'm doing 90 knots. That's plenty of airspeed on this airplane. Uh, 85 or even 80 when I touch it down would be just great. I'm going to add another notch of flaps. Now, remember, you know, you're dealing... This is a heavy airplane, so... the nose up a little here. The throttle's all the way back. We should be touching down. Alright. Alright, now my throttle's all the way back. I'm going to hold the reverse thrust button down and go throttle forward. And so we now have reverse thrust going on, which is going to help slow us. And I'm going to put a little light braking on. There you have it. Okay. Now throttle back to zero before I let go of that reverse thrust button, then release the button. And we're down. Uh, I hope this helped. This is a great airplane. It's not a high speed airplane, but you know what? If you had to pick a sturdy, reliable airplane to fly around the world, this wouldn't be a bad choice, and you'd have room to bring your whole family. So have a nice day.